TFC Justin Morrow wasn't ready but yeah you've got to say there's a bit of surprise there that there's only that one change but I'm, I'm sure he's happy with that because I think he feels this is probably his best 11 that he can select from at the moment not Justin Morrow tonight oh, the referee waves play on as Akinola rolls it through it's a chance here for Pablo Piatti Piatti into the path of Pozuelo and it's blocked by Binks behind for a corner and the referee is coming back I think to have a word with I think it's Maciel who just came in on Marky Delgado in the middle of the park there Delgado went over but the break was on wonderful from Piatti the awareness to know that Pozuelo right behind him he's extremely frustrated there he knows that with his quality that was better from the impact. Went back to Westbury and there was a real squeeze. Just hold tight. I think it was Greg Vanny shouting, don't chase the ball, as Montreal were running that around there. And here's an opportunity as the impact might be in here with a wonderful chance to level it and slide it under Quinta Westberg and this match is level. Gardo recently signed a new contract with TFC. Pablo Piatti. Has support to the right side with the fullback Auro. Akinola in the middle, Pasuelo there as well. And like I said, if you're just a little bit late on a step, for example, with an impact back three coming into maybe a Pasuelo or a Piatti. Montreal a little too precise, maybe in the build up as Pinks gets away with that one. To carry it forward. Players to that attack, some players in between the lines, off the shoulders of midfielders, in front of a back line where it's difficult for a Birnbaum or a Brion to step into it. They're reluctant to do that. They are defenders that like to stay. Even that meant that DC United could get the grey shirts back, get the numbers again behind the ball. Then it's difficult to break them down. This is a chance. The round of 16. Going forward, this is no longer about whether these games count to the regular season or not. Now you're really talking about that prize money, you're talking about the CONCACAF yep. champion's birth and what it means and what it could be like in Dele. Once it pops out to Pereira, if he just takes a touch forward and hits it on the half volley, he has himself a full half volley there, top of the 18-yard box. Clean contact, put it on. Juan and Mula re-establishing their connection down the right. Sweeping it for Moutinho. Nani. Nice little change of direction. Moutinho had the chance to deliver a, a piercing cross as it broke his way. And almost by accident, Nani able to get this ball to Moutinho. Finally, with a sliding tackle, Akindelia flashing across the middle of the goal. But based on tonight's evidence, I don't know what you're talking about, Adrian. <laughs> And his corner has gone all the way through, and Jao Moutinho again, perhaps a little surprised, it found its way to him. No anticipation whatsoever from Jao Moutinho, this ball falls to him, he's like, oh, look what I found here. If he takes a chance and sees it coming and anticipates it, maybe he takes the first time with his favorite left foot. In the thick of the action in both penalty areas. DK peeling away to get his first touch. And it's a decent one too, DK on the move! Okay. What do you see from Orlando now?